update, we have walls going up. So it's starting to feel like it's coming together. I'll show you. Come to the front door, it's all a mess again. Here is our dining room, living room. You can see the fireplace. used to be in that corner and now it's open here. Uh uh, Pemberley can't come in because of my ducks, they're in here. Brian, come get Pemberley. She's in the living room. And then the kitchen, we have ceilings. Where's she at? Pemberley, what are you doing? Here is powder powder bath, butler's pantry, mud room. So we're gonna have our coffee bar moved in here. Our washer and dryer used to be here. Then we opened all this up and now our washer and dryer will be back here. Just my little duck friends. Okay, so I'm in the car. Everett is doing his very last PT session. We have been doing this for what feels like forever. So I'm so proud of him. I'm so thankful um, that we've come to an end. He still has some recovery time until he can do full um, football again. I guess there's certain fibers in his muscle that have to fully form that take over five months. So by the time um, football practice starts, he missed spring ball, but by the time it starts again in the summer, he should be good to go. So I'm thankful this will be the last time we have to drive in in the afternoon on a Tuesday or Thursday. Um, so Lizzie and I went out this morning and specifically for Facebook Marketplace finds and I needed more milk to make yogurt for Evan. So I have been buying a bunch of vintage-ish things, a lot of antique furniture. I do plan to incorporate, you know, new and modern things with it, but it has been really, really fun. Um, I decided I'm going to do the Mikasa Italian Countryside um, white dishes. I wanted a good solid set of white dishes that I could then add other white dishes to that didn't necessarily match exactly. Um, but this one has been fun to track down on Marketplace. So um, today we picked up 12 cups and saucers. The cups are actually a really fun size. They're not massive and they're not too tiny. They're just, they're really, really pretty. And then I picked up some vintage, um, decor artwork. Um, my favorite thing I found so far is I found these brass ducks that I didn't realize were trending and really popular. I just kind of found some, you know, scrolling through marketplace suggested and they were really pricey and so I was able to track down some so Esme and I went a couple weeks ago before vacation and picked those up and right now they're above my sink um, smiling at me when I do my <laughs> dishes and it's fitting because I had great success with duck hatching so don't be alarmed when you see the ducks in the home remodel. We had to move them there briefly. They were in the garage and they had to open the garage door to um, do some work in the garage. And I have five outdoor kitties and I did not want the kitties to get not one of my ducks. And the lid doesn't close all the way. That is a truly a temporary um, solution. We have the brooder, the huge brooder that we had built for our um, turkeys and chickens last year that was in our breezeway was so nice. Our bunny Willow is living in it. So 
excuse me, I've got some in my eye. Our plan this weekend is to get the ducks in there. They'll have more space, the bottom's open. Um, we just have not had time. Um, so I put in 31 duck eggs and I have one hatching now, which is so strange to me because the other one started piping a week ago tomorrow. And now some of them took 36 plus hours to actually come out, but like this one just started piping yesterday. Is piping the word? I don't know, this is all new to me. So I was like, what in the world? And then I did candle the other, I think there's eight still in there. And they all had full development. They just stopped. They just are not alive anymore. So this little guy will be my last one. Um, and I think I'll be at 23, 22, 23. So our plan with the ducks is we love, we just love them. They are such fun animals to have on your homestead. So um, right now we have too many male ducks. Um, we, so our goal was to get more female ducks. They have been our best layers. We have really, really enjoyed duck eggs. So I just took these out of our yard and I had read that um, ducks were really hard to incubate and hatch and that there really was a low um, hatch rate. So I didn't anticipate that I would have the success that I did so I, you know, put 31 in thinking maybe 10 or 12 would hatch and then maybe half of those would be female. Um, so we've never eaten duck before. So if you have and, you know, have good recipes or something, let us know. I mean, obviously that's down the line, but we do have um, too many male ducks. We have five right now that are fully grown. Um, and it's just too many. They don't fight or anything, but they're not, you know, laying. Um, and we don't, we have, you know, space, but not space to just have a bunch of animals that are not, you know, serving a purpose on our homestead. So my car's shutting down because I haven't done anything in a while. Um, so it's been really fun. I plan to handle these a little bit more than I did my last ones because they're just now kind of rewarming up to us. Um, so this will be fun if we really, you know, hold these and live on these and they'll be less skittish out in the pasture. So that's been a fun, a fun focus this week. Um, it's rolling my seat back because it shut off so my arm's getting tired. So what else has been going on? I still sound stuffy but today's the first day that I didn't feel yucky when I woke up. My throat didn't hurt. Um, I didn't have a cough or anything like that. So I'm so thankful. It, I felt like it, I mean, it almost lasted a week, I guess, because it started last weekend. So before we left, um, his PT is from 4.15 to 5, 5-ish. I put out some veggies and got them all ready to roast in the oven. And then I um, set out some salmon on the counter that was frozen and put some little tiny shrimp in a bowl. So when I get home, I'll throw the veggies in the oven and then um, do the salmon and the shrimp just on a skillet. Okay, and then this is the Makata Italian countryside mugs. Hold on, let me unwrap one. Aren't they lovely? They've got the little detail. So they're just the right size. So cute. Love it. And they, so I've got 12 of these and the saucers. I think I paid $60 for them. Okay, guys. Vintage, vintage. Here is a butterfly picture. It's got like a really pretty peach background. I've got the highway behind me. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, so, so pretty. Oh, I love this one. 
just got a floral bouquet. I love the, the green, the stain color of wood. It's a lot like the furniture that we got. This one cracked me up. Don't you love it? It's like a needle point. I don't even know if I'll use this one. It came in the, um, came in the grouping, but I thought it was so cute. And then this obviously is sideways. I'll just start from the top, but it is a chalkboard, um, cork board on one side. So I know I can tell that it's been wiped so much that I'm going to have to do a fresh coat of paint on the chalkboard, but I swear my mom had so many things that have this exact thing on it. So I've bought some pins, you know, you want it to look kind of beat up because it is vintage, but there's some, you know, big scratches that I'm definitely going to work on, but I'm going to hang this somewhere maybe in the entry, not the entry, the hallway leading to the kitchen. I thought that was so fun. Okay, one last thing. I'm gonna turn my car on. Funny thought is, <laughs> there's been a, like, Brian truly does not care, you know, what I buy for the house or, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, there's some things, of course, like flooring and stuff, you know, for big furniture pieces that he definitely has opinions on, but the decor and stuff, he's, you know, he just wants me to be happy. So he, this doesn't really have input, but I was even thinking like, so there's so many things that I'm not like showing, I'm not hiding it at all, but I'm not showing him everything like, Ooh, look at this. Cause I, he would be like, what is that? So those are things that I know he would be like why did you buy that and where are we putting that? So I just kept telling him for all those wall pieces, I spent $20 like as the group of four, were there four things? So, you know, he, I was cracking up cause I was just thinking, okay. Cause I edit the videos in the sense that I put everything together, but then, um, sorry, text coming through. I do the videos and put them together and add the music, but I'm not really great with the transitions and like fine tuning everything. So he always watches them and does all that fixing at the bottom, at the end. So I'm imagining him watching the video of those vintage art things being like, what is this? <laughs>